In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about possibly one of the most rare Omega dials ever created. The Hobnail. Often confused with a very similar yet much more common vintage Omega dial, the Waffle dial. It's true. You'll often find private listings where the seller has incorrectly described the dial. And let me tell you, when you find one of these, you should jump on it. Let's get into the rarity, specifically starting with Constellations first. Over the last couple of months, along with a lot of help from other fellow collectors, I've been able to compile a list. So far we've been able to identify 15 Omega Constellation hobnail dials with the Arrowhead Applied Hour Marker configuration. Experts in the field believe that the original number of hobnail dials produced is somewhere in the couple of hundreds. As a general rule of thumb, vintage watch experts like to use a 10% principle. The way it works is this, you take the exact or estimated total production numbers of a specific watch from the 1940s and 50s and then can estimate that approximately 10% of those original examples have remained in today's market. This is a result of unfortunate instances such as watches being melted for gold value or damaged watches having their original parts refinished. If we apply this rule then the estimated original couple of hundred examples will have resulted in approximately 20 to 30 original arrowhead hobnail constellations in the wild. Now let's get back to the comparison. At first glance, waffle and hobnail dials do indeed look similar. Upon closer inspection though, we can see that the pattern is distinctly different. Hobnail dials appear like small, square pyramids, while waffle dials appear, you guessed it, exactly as their eponym. This example, a steel case with steel hour markers, or steel on steel as the kids say, is the only example hobnail Seamaster that I have personally seen. And with its two-tone dial, it's just beautiful to look at soon available in our vintage watch shop.